Hey everyone, in the third part of this video, we're going to start with, like we've got an okay start on the overall shape of our shoe, we're going to start tweaking it a little bit more, try to make it look a little bit more shoe-like, but so far we've made some pretty good progress. So we're going to finish form now, for now. I'm going to start just going in, adding some details, I'm going to do things like I'm going to fillet these edges to make them look a little bit less harsh. You will also find as well, because the default material when you start to do um, modeling and fusion is, is steel. Things don't look all that realistic for a while. It takes a little bit of time before we uh, start to see it look more. Once you start adding more material as well, it starts to look a lot more realistic. But fillets will just take away harsh edges, which is what we want. We don't want it to look super, super sharp. And again, there's no sort of hard and set rule for how much I'm doing this. I'm just going by what I think looks right. So I'm just taking these corners. And going by what I think looks nice. Okay. That's looking okay. So what we're going to start doing now is I'm going to turn on my canvases, but only my side canvas. I'm going to start to cut in those details into the actual shoe itself. So to begin with, I'm going to go on Construct Offset Plane. I'm going to click on this plane and just drag it out this way. Okay, so I'm going to click on Create a Sketch on this side, and essentially what I'm going to do is just sort of draw lines along where these seams are for the different parts and use those to split the body that we want. So I'm going to go on Fit Points Line, so it's either there, or if you've not got it there, you go to Create and Spline, and I'm going to use Fit Points Line. So I'm just going to click away from the body to begin with and just sort of follow where I want it to go, and then when you're done, you have to click the tick arrow, if you hit X, annoyingly, it cancels the whole, whole um, command. So it just makes sure, cause like with other tools, I always get in the habit of pressing that like, escape when I'm done. But unfortunately, with fit points plan, that's not what we want. OK, I'm going to go on finish sketch. I'm going to modify split body. Click on this body. Splitting tool is this tool. Hit OK. And you see I've now got lines there. I'm going to do all this, the splits first before I do anything, but if you go into bodies now, you'll see I've now got two bodies. I've got that heel bit that I've cut out and the main body. So because I've just used that construction plane, it's now disappeared, but I want it to come back. So I'm going to construct and turn that eye back on. I'm going to do the same again, just sort of copying the lines that we want. Again, using the fit point spline. Again, finish sketch. Go to split body. If split body doesn't appear there for you, by the way, if you go to modify, it's down here under split body. Select the body you want to split. Select the cutting tool. Click OK. And hopefully now you can see what's starting to happen. It was just starting to get a few more bodies appearing. So I've now got these bodies here. I'm just going to keep working our way around. Let's go again. So. Again, I want this to stay there, so sketch. Let's go to spline tool. And it doesn't matter which order you're doing this in, really. I'm just sort of going wherever I feel would be right. And then let's come out here. Because we're not following the, the reference 100%, um, you don't need to make sure you're doing that because obviously the form tool is quite difficult to get exactly where you want it. So we're kind of just going a little bit free form. As long as we're making sure we get nice clean lines, that's the key thing. And then just keep repeating the same process. So let's do this one. Did not want that bit. 
Sorry. Okay, that one wouldn't work. So we want to we do want to extend that. I was trying to get away with not extending that, so let's do that again. Everybody select. There we go. I'm not gonna split across there though, I will join those two together. And again just sort of rinse and repeat. At the minute, just following these rounds. So there's nothing difficult or massively exciting about this particular part. We're just going with where the seams of the shoe would be. And the benefit of doing the whole split body, by the way, is if we go to the side, you'll notice that it's doing it all the way around, which is what we want. So now let's go to the split body again. And you notice well, because I've split these bodies, now when I'm selecting them, it's selecting a little bit less each time. So you don't have to worry about it intersecting multiple different parts. So for example, here you see it's cutting through here, but it's not cutting through there because we've not selected that body. Okay. Work our way down, so we're nearly there. And now we have to keep turning this plane on. You can mess in the settings to make planes not turn off. It's useful to have it on, to be honest with you, because typically you don't want a plane to stay. Once you finish using it, it gets a little bit messy. Um, and it's not too much of a hassle really to keep changing it, so I'll just keep it on. Modify the body. And we are very nearly there. So let's quick sketch. I'll just do the little bit where your toes sit. And then split body. Okay, so I think actually we're probably done for that. So what we're gonna start doing now, so you see we've got all these different bodies appearing here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is one at a time is create a pipe and the pipe is just going to give us the illusion of those seams. So I'm going to create and pipe and I'm going to click on, I'll tell you what, first of all we're going to right click and isolate so we just have this body here. So I'm just going to have a pipe going around, I'm going to, have to create pipe, I'm going to select a line which is on the outside, section size we only want it to be about two mil and we don't want it to cut, we want it to for now let's do a new body so we can see how it's all going to look. So we're going to start having loads and loads of bodies, we are going to join it all together again but to begin with we don't want to have to, um, have it all joined so we, otherwise we can't edit things later. So let's, what's this one, what's this body here? Okay, so if you want to turn bodies off or off, there's a few ways, you can either click on it, hit V, turn, that's for visibility, turns it off. Or you can just click on the eye, or if you want to just isolate that particular one. So say if I click on this body and it tells me under here, that's body three. If I click on it, I can right click and I can isolate. So I've only got that one visible. So there's a few different ways to turn off um, or on visibility. Again, it should remember the size of the body that you did. And again, I'm going to go to new body. Okay. I'm going to turn all that back again. Again, the reason I keep doing this is just so I can check and see how it's all starting to look. So you hopefully you see now it's starting to show the shape quite a bit more. So what body is this? That is body two. Okay, so let's isolate that. And I want create pipe. Uh, 
I do the same on both, so create pipe. And I, should have, I don't need to do one on this part here, because if you look at the previous body I did, yeah, I've already got a pipe going across there already. So that's all we're doing for this part of this particular video, really, is slowly working our way around. So which body is that? That's body four. So let's isolate. So we don't want to go past this line here. So what we're going to do, we're going to, go to create pipe. And what we can do this time is we can drag it to where we want to go. So this time I just want to go to here, new body, okay, keep turning all these back on again, because I'm going to join this, obviously that's going to be the flap where the actual shoelace comes in. But you can see for the most part, for most of these, they are starting to wrap around. But we haven't done it on this one. So let's figure out which body that is, which is body five. So isolate. We'll do the same on this one. So create pipe. And then bring you back a little bit. Again, making sure it's new body. And you'll see you're starting to get a lot of bodies. Like I said, we are going to join these all together once we're done. But for now, we're going to keep them separate. We're slowly working our way around. So we're going to do the same sort of thing for this part here as well. But hopefully you can see now how it's starting to resemble the shape of a shoe quite a bit more because we're getting those little bits of details in. Okay, so this body. 46. Again, we're not going to go past that line, so we're going to, have to create a um, pipe. Let's bring you back. We don't want. Oh. I don't want the section size. We don't want to grab the wrong one there by accident. Don't want distance. Why can I not try again to create pipe? Okay, I see that works better if that works. Oh, okay, right, I've just followed it all. I find that a bit easier actually. So what I did there was unchained, unclicked chain selection, so it actually physically wouldn't select that part anyway. Okay. Do the same on the other side. So that is body seven. Isolate. So what I did then, so I wanted to modify pipe. And chain selection is now turned off. So if I go chain selection on, if I click, any lines that are sort of touching and it can chain together, as in like connect together, it will. But if I take chain selection off, it'll just do that bit. And then if I hold control, I can then select multiple ones together. And then I'm still going to go to new body. So it just saves me from having to drag down there. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place, but we're all learning as we're going. Okay, nearly there. So we'll do this one now. So that is body number 10. So I'll create. Once you've unselected chain selection, that should stay off actually. So you shouldn't have to keep doing it over and over again, which is quite useful. Oh, but what I did want to do there, though, is add this part in. So let's go to Edit Feature. And can I grab that bit? I can. Look at that. Perfect. 
OK. And then hopefully this bit will work. Okay, is that what I don't want? Create pipe. So I want this to go all the way around. So I could have reselected chain selection, but I didn't. And then again, go new body. Hit OK. Again, so if I want to, let's go on and isolate. Okay, so it's starting to look much, much better. Let's turn off our canvas so we can see what's going on. So we've got all those details in. Okay, we're going to keep working our way around. So we are nearly done with the little bits of details we wanted to add in. So let's just go around to the side. So we've still got this one we want to add in. So this is part number 10. Isolate, create pipe, control to get the second part, new body. Okay, so let's bring everything back. So we've got some nice little details there. Now it's definitely starting to resemble more of a shoe. So we'll add a few more bits of details of the these and the Pac-Man. So let's go to create pipe and then can we do chain selection for this one? Will that work? Let's try again, create pipe. Should we do the bottom as well? Go on. Oh, now let's new body. Okay. I definitely think we need to get something in there. Okay, so you see this area here as it's a bit ghosted out there, but that up so it said it'd be intersecting itself so you couldn't do a pipe there that size because it would be going in on itself so let's make that slightly smaller and we'll do that there so it kind of looks a bit better in fact no let's not do that but let's do this let's fill it that round a bit so it looks a bit more point eight too much no, quite a good. Then let's do the same on this one. Okay, let's we'll go around and do the same. Just on places where we know the piping ends and we see it, because you don't want to see the end caps because it's a bit mm, fugly, for want of a better word. It looks a little bit messy. Like that's not how it's supposed to be. Hopefully we can do all these in one command so it's super, super easy. Okay, we'll get back to doing pipe, create Pipe. It's no, it's important to remember that we did this. We changed that to one before, so let's go back to two. New body. Okay. What's nice is it's joining okay over there. We do want to fit it that as well there. So I did seven. No, what do we do? Uh, 
and just slowly work our way around. Let's do the same on the bottom bit. The inside which we're not going to see anymore anyway, so let's go to body. And all this is going to do is give us the illusion of like the seam where bits have been sewed over. And remember, if I want to do multiple places, I'm just holding Alt on my key or control, sorry, on my keyboard, not Alt. And I'm just changing to new body. I think we're very nearly done. Let's just do the top bit as well. So go to create pipe. Oh, let's well, see what happened there. I went on cut. I was too quick. I want to go to new body. There we go. That's better. And we'll do the same on the inside as well. So we're going to create pipe and then make sure new body. And okay, so let's just have a look around what we've done. So we're definitely now starting to get the illusion a bit more of a trainer. So we've got all those little details in now. So the last thing we'll do on this part of the video is we're going to combine it all. So at least at the minute we've now down to 28 bodies, we don't really want that. So let's select body one, hold down shift, select body 28, go up here to combine. It'll take a second because it's got quite a few bodies on it. Make sure it's on join and hit OK. And you'll see in a second once the command has finished, is we've now got one body done like that. So we've now got one body. Finish. So we'll stop that video there. We've now got those little details. Um, next thing we'll do is looking at things like getting in the um, holes for the laces and those sorts of things. So we'll stop that video there. And I'll see you in the next.